Okay, so you've finally grown your hair out. It's long, luscious, and beautiful, but now what do you do with it? Good question. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you 10 different variations that I've been doing with my long hair lately. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Thomas if you're brand new here and I make style and hair related videos every single week here on YouTube. If you're brand new, I have been growing my hair out for over a year now and my hair is finally long and I can finally start doing different things with it. And the purpose of this video today is just to show you 10 different variations of hairstyles that I've been doing while my hair has been longer. I'm really excited to show you these and I'm actually wearing one right now. We're gonna get into that later, but uh, yeah. So stay tuned and let's get into it, okay? Boom. So the first hairstyle on my list, I've called this wild and free. <laughs> um, the reason I call it wild and free is because during the growing out process, I was kind of like, oh, I can't wear this out because it's just so buffy and it doesn't grow down, it grows out. But now my hair has finally gotten to a length of like 13 inches. It actually, when I don't wear this hat and I tuck it behind my ears, I can actually wear my hair down now without it looking too ridiculous. So Wild and Free has become my new favorite and literally I'll just put my hair products in, let it air dry and let it hang down and I'm actually not afraid to go out in public with it anymore. So Wild and Free all the way, that is number one. Woo! -hoo! Trust me, if you are one of those people as well that's dealing with the growing out, like it's actually growing out and not down, just keep in there, hang in there, because when it gets to a certain length, it will go down and you will have the benefits of it. You've just got to wait and persevere. Hairstyle number two is probably a little bit cliche, probably a little bit obvious, but hey, I'm gonna throw it in there anyway because it is a long hairstyle and it is the man bun. Uh, I'm obsessed with the man bun. I've just started doing a series on my channel about man bun, so if you have a man bun, make sure you subscribe and come back for that. But the man bun definitely has a million different variations and I do think it's a hairstyle that a lot of guys with long hair will be championing, so yeah, it's really cool. Duh, man bun. The next long hairstyle on the list is a tri braid. Obviously, over the last couple of years, I've been trialing out braids and actually learning how to do it myself on my own head. And that is a very fun thing. Once you get past that point, you can actually play around with millions of different styles. Uh, but this one is the tri braid. So I'll do one braid here on the side, one braid on the top, one braid on the back, and then tie it all into one at the back. It's technically another man bun variation, but it's actually a very cool look and it's different. And if you can do it yourself, there's something about being able to do your own braid that is just so like, yeah, I did that. I've got a few videos about braiding as well. I might leave a card up there for you uh, to go and check it out. But if you know how to braid your own hair, you've definitely got one up on the competition and it's something that I would recommend. So get into it. Look number four on the list is one of my new favorites actually. This one's great for anybody that's dealing with the out stage. Uh, again, it's another Pinterest one that I've seen. Save it once. See it a million times. This one I'm calling the buff look. <laughs> the buff look is very, very cool. It's like, I think only guys with really, really curly hair can pull this one off. And its best look is when your hair's at like, probably I think the five inch mark. It's literally just a bit of face with big curly hair that covers the eyes and it looks insane. It's actually like this hair I've got right now, but all over. And it's a real like, alternate grungy look, but I, for some reason I love it. I've tried to recreate it myself. There's gonna be a few pictures floating over the screen right now of my version of this, but I've also seen it a lot on Pinterest, and I would recommend this for anybody that's got that big out bushy hair that's trying to get it longer, because you can actually still make yourself look really, really good while you're in that stage. It's just about making the most of what you got. <laughs> Look number five is the broad brimmed hat look. That's the exact look that I'm wearing right now. I actually have never worn a hat like this on my channel. I actually wanna know what you guys think of this look in the description box below. Comment box, sorry, I always call it the description box. And yeah, I, it's pretty much, this is pretty much the buff look, but coming back a little bit with a hat chucked on top of it. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, uh, I went to Karan Cove a couple of weekends ago and my friend Tom, Funnily enough, his name is Tom. Uh, it was his birthday and he had a hat just like this. And I was like, can I borrow that for a minute? <laughs> anyway, I tried it out and this is the look I got. So I went and bought my own and I actually think it looks really groovy, really alternate. And it's something that I just have never really worn before. Thumbs up for the, the broad brim hat look. The next hairstyle on the list is the Jon Snow High Baller. You'll recognize this one from my first Man Bun Monthly series. Um, this is one of my favorite Man Buns that I've seen. And ever since Game of Thrones, I've always been in love with Jon Snow's hair. And yeah, since my hair's gotten a little bit longer, I thought, fuck it, let's try it. Let's try this look out. And I really like it on myself. And I would encourage anybody else to go for it as well. The High Baller Jon Snow. And for long hairstyle number seven. So this one's a really cool one. I've never really worn this look either. This look only really works for me when I've got my hair straightened, but I call this one the Thor, <laughs> uh, typically because it looks a little bit Thor-like or Chris Hemsworth. Like if I looked like him, that would be great. Um, no, this hairstyle is really cool. It's kind of, I don't know, it, it's almost a little bit legless as well with the 
ponytail at the back, but all the long flowy hair down the side of the head. Uh, I really, really like this look. I've never really worn it either until my hair got to a certain length. And now it's at that length. I'm really playing with those styles and I really, really like this look. And long hairstyle number eight is the man pony. So I've documented this before. In my video about 10 looks with an undercut, I documented the man pony, but I only wore the man pony when I had the, uh, the disconnected undercut and I looked like soccer from the, uh, the Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, however, now that my hair's full length, uh, when I wear the man pony, it actually gives me a really different look. And if I'm honest, I don't particularly like this look that much on me, but I do think some guys out there can really rock it. I mean, the pictures that I got of it, yeah, they're pretty cool because I sit there until I get the right selfie. But yeah, I don't know. The man pony was definitely going to be on the list because I think it's groovy. I just don't particularly like it on my own head, but it's definitely one to put in the list. Moving on to hairstyle number nine. This one's one that I like to think that I kind of created myself, but really I kind of copied it from really old school footage that I've seen before. I call this one the Vegemite scroll. <laughs> it's actually a, I don't know, it, it reminds me of an old wenchy hairstyle. It's kind of like all I do is literally like coil my hair up on the sides, chuck a couple of bobby pins in it, and then legit looks like a scroll. <laughs> it's pretty funky. I can understand why most guys probably won't want to wear this because it might look a little bit feminine or whatever, but I'm so alternative. This is probably a hairstyle that I would just chuck in my hair and waltz around the house in, or probably, I would probably, you know, wear it at a YouTube event or something where I really had to make a statement about the kind of stuff that I do. And it's just like a really random one that I thought I would chuck in here because, yeah, why not? The Vegemite scroll. Who doesn't love Vegemite? I actually don't. I don't like Vegemite. And for long hairstyle number 10, this one is called the Beyonce. <laughs> uh, typically because it is big, curly, wild and crazy. We all know uh, Queen Bee has very, very crazy hair. And I actually started to get this look after doing the wash and go routine. So with the Jane Carter solution, the shea butter, and the uh, flaxseed gel. I just noticed it would give me really, really in-depth curl, but with a lot of volume as well. Like I literally, I could have been Beyonce's twin. So that's why I called it that one. And I have been wearing that one a lot more as well. It doesn't, I can't really wear that one as the wild and free. It doesn't really sit down. When I do that method on it, it goes out and big. So yeah, that's why I called it the Beyonce. But that one definitely had to be on the list too because I have been playing around with that. And I don't know, I think big curly crazy hair is really in right now. It's just my thing. I love it. Clearly. All right, guys, and that is it for my 10 long hairstyles. I really hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that gave you some inspiration. This is what these videos are all about. I just kind of want to bring variety to you so you can see what's out there and what might work for you. You might never have seen some of these hairstyles and want to go give them a try. I really recommend anybody with, like, medium to long hair get one of these hats. You will freaking love it. This is probably my favorite one of the whole video. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I've got for you and please let me know what your favorite hairstyle was in the comment section below because I'm always interested to hear. And that's it. If you are keen to see my Man Bun Monthly series, make sure you subscribe and come back once a month. I'm still going to be, I'll be refining like what week in each month it's going to be coming out. That's, maybe you can let me know what you'd prefer in the comment section below. But yeah, make sure you stick around for that because I'm really excited about that content. And again, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, make sure you head down to the description box and you'll be able to find a link there. All you have to do is ask to join, answer three questions, and then boom, you're in. So yeah, that's it. Uh, have a really good week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.